We've been listening to the incidental music to Peer Gint by Edvard Grieg, together with an adaptation of Ibsen's play made by John DeLancey. John DeLancey was the narrator. He also took the roles of the Mountain King, the Boig, and the Button Molder. The soprano singing Solve was Jacqueline Porter. Anitra was soprano Rachel Bate. Baritone Simon Halligan sang and played Pier Gint, and Orza was played by Marnie Moserman. The Hardanger fiddle that you heard at the very beginning was played by Lachlan Green, and the choir was Vox, one of the Sydney Philharmonia choirs. The three luscious maidens and the two thieves also came from the ranks of Vox. The concertmaster tonight was Michael Doubt, and the Sydney Symphony Orchestra was conducted by Vladimir Ashkenazi. Soloists all taking a bow at this moment from their little box up the top between the orchestra and the choir. And the orchestra also standing, as is the choir, to accept the applause of the audience here in the Sydney Opera House Concert Hall. The Sydney Symphony's 2011 season opener, Pier Gint. The challenge of this wasted, wanton life was to find someone who'd speak in his defence to redeem him. And Solve was that faithful woman who waited all her life and finally rocked him to sleep in her arms. Vladimir Ashkenazi has said he finds that final lullaby just devastating. You simply can't be indifferent, he says, to this story. And that brings me to the end of tonight's season opening concert from the Sydney Symphony. I do hope you've enjoyed it. On behalf of engineer Andrew Dixon and producer Owen Chambers, this is Marion Arnold in the Sydney Opera House Concert Hall thanking you for your company.